All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So listen, before the PlayStation Portal came out, I said, fuck it, I'm gonna pre-order it and I'm gonna see how it works, right? Um, I was very skeptical um, because you know I'm very sensitive to latency and lag and all those things. I do have a very good home network. I am on Fios uh, Gigabit. Um, so the conditions for me are, I would say as are, are optimal as can be. So right now I'm doing a speed test and this is a hardwired speed test. I'm doing both just a hardwired and, and then the, the Wi-Fi speed test just to show you the contrast. Um, and then going to show you some footage of the PlayStation portal, uh, with my monitor right above it. So we can take a look, see the difference, see if there's any major lag, major latency issues or anything like that. This is not a review of this product. I know a lot of people are going to be on the fence. A lot of people are going to be, you know, skeptical like I was. A lot of people just want to see a test. Um, and, you know, um, there are reviews out there, of course, already that have done the tests. But sometimes you, need, you just need to see a test from, I don't know, your average user on YouTube. So because I know that's what I wanted to see. And there just wasn't enough of that out there. Um, probably because the product is still freaking new and people are still getting it. So that's why I, I decided to do it. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep it, but at bare minimum, I'm informing a lot of people. So that was the hardwire test. As you can see, my, my, uh, my PC has, you know, Wi-Fi um, also. So I just, I just disconnected, as you can see in the bottom right, I disconnected, I plugged out my ethernet port and turned on the Wi-Fi um, for, for my PC. And now we're doing a, a Wi-Fi test. So from the location where I'm at, there is a there is like one solid wall between me and my router. The router is located. The Verizon router is located in the closet and it's a it's a, it's the default Verizon router. I never replaced it. I probably should. I could probably get a little bit better performance um, out of out of my network if I actually replaced it. So I, I actually might do that. But up until this time, I've just kept the, the default Verizon router that they provided me with. So if I were to get like an actual, any, any router are probably better than those Verizon, you know, routers. They're, those are probably not the best. A, a gaming router or even a non-gaming router, probably better than those things. Give you a little bit performance, a um, little bit more consistency, stronger, stronger signal, all that stuff. So yeah, this was the, that was the speed test. Okay. And I did it on two different, uh, two different sites, as you see. So the first game I tested, I just booted up Lies of P. This is a game that is very contingent on reactions and, and precision. So I thought, oh, this is the perfect game. So, cause you obviously need to do the perfect, perfect parry, perfect, you know, block. Everybody knows that, you know. You got to be on point in all these Souls games. And I was actually able to perform a few perfect parries, as you're going to see. That was a perfect parry, so I was able to do it there. That looked like a, that looked like another one. Um, and now I'm about to stun the enemy. So, and, Oh, and by the way, one of the things that I'm very sensitive about is like... I was very curious about is like how, it, how the controller, controller felt. Well, how the portal felt the handheld felt and I got to say it felt pretty it felt awkward at first and by the way I'm holding it at a very awkward angle so that you can see it right under my TV so I'm holding it like out and to the left so I'm not even holding mind you through this whole demonstration I'm not holding this thing at a very comfortable angle this is to benefit the viewer but it felt pretty comfortable after like a few minutes I, I just felt like I was using using a dual sense, really. Um, it, it you know, at first it feels weird because the screen obviously does separate it. And so if you put a dual sense right next to the, the portal, the dual sense is essentially the length of the screen almost. So that's the kind of separation that you are dealing with. Um, so as far as uh, even though I said I, this is not a review and this is more about, you know, testing the latency and if there's any lag. Um, I am going to talk about it a, a little bit and later on in, in this demonstration, because I'm going to uh, show two other games, 
Um, the 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 last game I'm going to show is kind of going to just like show the uh, the you know the, the the latency, the 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 millisecond and the frames difference um, between uh, the portal and the timing of the portal and what's happening on my monitor. So when I was playing Lies of P, what I did experience is like. I would say a small hitching, um, a small stutter here and there where maybe the, the video quality dropped slightly and it looked like it, it was buffering and got very slightly pixelated, but it wasn't anything major. It was something that I, that I noticed, but it only happened on li when I played Lies of P just now and now I'm booting up Spider-Man. And I didn't experience it when I was playing Spider-Man 2. Um, so, again, my router is on another side of a wall. It's not super far. I'm, I'm terrible at, like, estimating distance and shit like that. But it's it's in a closet. It's on the other side of a, of a thick wall. I want to say maybe... Uh, terrible. Yeah, 15 feet from from where I'm currently playing. That's where my router is, about, about 15 feet. And I already told y'all it's a... Uh, it's a default Verizon router and I got um, I, I have their highest tier uh, 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 plan, which is gigabit unless they have something new now. I don't I don't think so. Um, and of course, you know, when I did the speed test, every time you do the speed test, you're going to get something different. It, 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 it'll range. Your mileage is always going to vary. And that's kind of the story of this. That's going to be the story of, of this product is your mileage will vary. Um but I'm showing you my experience and I probably and I, I and I probably have what some be some would consider a better situation, a better, you know, uh, connection and, and and provider and speed and all that stuff. So the conditions are, are pretty, I would say, pretty good for me. I'm not that far from from my router. There's not like a whole bunch of obstructions um, in, in between it and and. and and anything to like interrupt the, the signal. So, and I'm only on one level. It's not like I'm upstairs or, you know, some people are in a house with multiple levels. I'm in an apartment. So just trying to give you all some context. Now, when I was playing Spider-Man, um, it's funny, even though I just platinum, I, I platinum both Lies of P and Spider-Man. Uh, I was damn near forgetting some of the controls. Um, once again, speaking to the comfortability of the, of the portal, it just felt kind of natural. Um, honestly, like I'm just pulling off the moves. Um, like I said, I did start to forget some of the controls and confuse uh, the controls and started pressing the wrong button. But it, it, it felt like an extension. It, it felt it felt normal. It felt like I was able to pull off the same moves that I was able to do on a dual sense, because that's a big deal, in my opinion, with a lot of these handhelds that. A lot of the things you're able to do on a controller, you're not able to do on 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 the handheld, and that's sometimes, in my opinion, why I've why I've been a lot more. Even though I, I do like the Rog Ally, um, I've been um, I've been very negative when it comes to uh, when it comes to handhelds and just not really been a fan of them um, because I think the games you could the type of games and genres you can play on them are pretty limited. Um, you know, the, the the games that require, you know, the best reactions and, you know, twitch movements and all that stuff. Probably not the best. So the last game I boot up is The Last of Us. And for some reason, I didn't have a save. I've platinum this game and beat this game a bunch of times. But for, for some reason, I just didn't have a, have a save to go into the campaign. And we know the... You know, I don't want to just go into the, you know, the, the prologue. So I was like, let me just, why don't I just go online, go to factions? Now, of course, I, I expect to get my ass whooped. I mean, I'm playing on this portal device, like I said, at, at an already awkward angle. Um, and I, I, I know there, is, even though it's very minimal and almost non-existent to the point where you could hardly feel it. Um, I know I'm still going it, to, I know it's still there. I could feel it slightly. And when I was playing this, I started to feel it a little playing online. You definitely feel it 
a little bit more. It it kind of feels like when I was aiming, um, and factions, you know, came out a long time ago, so it didn't. It doesn't have the, the, the you know, the the cleanest um, aiming, you know, uh, the, the smoothest aiming necessarily. So I I even felt that a little bit more. It kind of felt like on the portal I had to drag my crosshairs are just a little bit more like it felt like my crosshairs were lagging behind just slightly um but i was actually able to get a kill that's really all i wanted to see if i could do i'm like i wonder if i could get a kill on this thing and i was i was able to get a kill and i'm pressing the you know i haven't played factions in mad long so i'm pressing a whole bunch of wrong buttons i was like how the fuck do i switch soul shoulders again i was able to put two hits on this guy and i was like oh, how the fuck do i run again i literally forgot how to run i was pressing I just came off lies of P, so I was pressing freaking circle to sprint. Like, no, dummy, this is the wrong. So, yeah, I get the point. Um, But I was able to get a kill. It, it You know, and, and it feels like I it, it feels like it, it, it wouldn't be the best way to play this. Obviously, this online game or any online game. But I think it's viable, maybe. Now, I went over here because. When you know one of the easiest ways to test, um, I, I guess latency and you know the the difference between what's happening on screen and the signal that's being sent to the device is just to fire some shots, because and then you can look back um, and see if there is really any difference. So I fire some shots and all that stuff. So that that's going to be this part now. Right after this part. I include a video where I slow down this part by like 50%, right? It's it's an, it's it's slow mode by 50%. So you can look at the portal, look at the screen, uh, look at my monitor and see the difference. And there is a difference. It's like it's like I want to say 5 milliseconds or five, 3 or 3 3 to 5 milliseconds or frames of difference. I'm not an expert of of like analyzing analyzing this shit. I'm just kind of doing an eye test. And when I was editing on DaVinci Resolve, so I'm pressing, I'm using the directional keys to go frame by frame to look at when I, when the shot came out on my monitor and when the shot came out on the, uh, on the, uh, on the, on the portal. And it's, it's like a few seconds, milliseconds, um, few frames. It's it seems like, and I actually record. I recorded DaVinci Resolve and me like moving along the timeline frame by frame, so you could see that difference. Also, I'm just trying to provide as much context and as much information as that that can help people out. Like I said, I don't know. This is not the perfect science. This is not something I'm an expert on. But I think all the information and context that can help people is is good, is good enough. All right, so now this is DaVinci Resolve. You could see the timeline. So if you look at look at certain parts of this. So I'm moving frame by frame, you could look at the the red, the little red marker. So as you can see at certain parts, the bullet is out on the monitor. It, it hasn't happened on the portal yet. So there is a difference. It's definitely there as you can see, but it's, it's very minimal. Honestly, it's, 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 it's pretty damn minimal. To the point where, like, the naked eye can't see it. You, the, the, the naked eye definitely can't see it. You have to, um, you, you, I had to put it in this program and go frame by frame to actually see it. Notice it when you're playing? You might. You might slightly notice it. You know? So, listen, man. That's, that's it. I hope this helped. Let me, y'all let, y'all let, y'all let me know. Um. If there's any other thing I could do to help people out that, you know, that they want me to test out, let me know. Maybe I'll, I'll be able to do it. All right. So that's it. Hit the like button if this helped. I'll catch you all on the next video.
I'm out. Peace.